Okay, for this video, I wanted to address the standard position of angles in the coordinate plane for a course like trigonometry or geometry. Um, so a couple things that you need to know is the initial side is always the starting side. The vertex is where the two rays that form the angle meet. And the initial side of a standard position of angles is on the positive x-axis. And the vertex always falls on the origin, so at the point zero, zero. So if you have acute angles, acute angles will start on the positive x-axis, and then they will stop somewhere between zero and 90 degrees, not including those values. Obtuse angles will stop somewhere between 90 and 180 degrees. And remember that I've already addressed this, but the terminal side is the name of the side where you stop. So initial is the starting side, the terminal side is where you stop. So you just stop at whatever measure your angle of opening is. So to keep track of what your measure of angles of, to keep track of your angles and where they would need to stop, is if you have an angle that is between zero and 90 degrees, you would start on the positive x-axis as your initial side, and you would stop somewhere between zero and 90. As you go closer to the 90, the value would increase. So it would start close to zero and will end close to 90. Q2 is quadrant two, and the angle measure is always between 90 and 180 degrees. Quadrant three, the angle measures will always be between 180 and 270 degrees. And quadrant four, the angles will be between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. Positive angles always rotate counterclockwise, just like the quadrants do. Negative angles rotate clockwise, which means that they would kind of go the opposite. So this would be um, a negative zero to 90. This would be negative 90 to 180. This would be negative 180 to negative 270. And then this would be negative 270 to negative 360 degrees. So negative angles will start still at the same initial side. They'll just rotate clockwise in the same pattern, just opposite. Okay, quadrantal angles are angles that have a terminal side that falls on either the x or the y axis. So for example, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, etc. So 90 degrees would have a pot would the terminal side would fall on the positive y axis 180 degrees would fall on the terminal side would fall on the negative x axis and 270 degrees the terminal side would fall on the negative y axis and 360 degrees we would be back to the initial side because we rotated a complete 360 degree angle it is possible for them to give you angle measures that are more than 360 degrees. That means that you would just rotate 360 degrees of full circle. Sometimes it'll be multiples of 360, like if it's more than 720 degrees, that means you have to go around twice. Um, but any multiples of 360 degrees would tell you you went around the circle how many times you go around the circle. And your values would still fall in one of the four quadrants. So let's say that you had an example um, of 390 degrees. 390 degrees is 30 degrees past 360, so it would fall in quadrant one, okay? Um, if you had something like 100 degrees past, so like it was 460 degrees, that means it would fall in quadrant two because after you've gone the full 360, you have to go 100 degrees more. And so I will address that in a video about coterminal angles and how to actually draw the angle measurement. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.